himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Yeah, yeah, he acts, the so-called white man acts humble and, and wants you to feel sorry for him and, and, and wants you to have sympathy for him. Like, like, like he been through some shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, oh, look at me. Look, you know, what did it say? Uh, he, he saw carefully with tears. Yeah. The Holocaust. Yeah, he, yeah, he always plays the victim. What about the Holocaust of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? That's the real Holocaust. You know? But they don't want to bring that out. They want to, I think yesterday or the day before was National Holocaust Day. What about the hundreds of millions of Native Americans uh, that, that died by the hands of the so-called white men through the Indian Removal Act? Con. Through, through, through all kinds of... By, by the Indian killer. Yeah. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Yeah. By, uh, and they commemorated with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving yeah. is nothing but a, 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 a celebration of a killing of us, uh, the tribe of Gad. And they did it every time, and you gotta understand the history behind it. Every time there was a Thanksgiving feast, they were celebrating the, the, the slaughter of a Native American tribe. They had maybe 15, 20 Thanksgiving feasts in a year. And then, the, um, then they made it a national uh, national holiday. No, no, not national. Then they made it a, a yearly, an annual event. And then your beloved Abraham Lincoln, who you niggas like to say did something for you, freed you, he made it a national holiday. So, you go ahead. Right. Verse 11, he has said in his heart, the Most High has forgotten. <laughs> he hides his face, he will never see it. Right, because <laughs> since it's against an evil it work and yep. not executed speedily, the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. And we're going to, that man, did you people think you ain't going to get no payback? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, going to get you. He ain't forgot. If the Most High right. forgot, we wouldn't be out here doing what we're doing. Right. right. Hey, it was did, only yesterday. Did, uh, yeah, Jesse, uh, Jesse Waters, I think that was his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Jesse Waters, when he, he asked the, uh, uh, the, the, the Israelite, that was that Israelite on, on Fox News, he said, so basically, I should, should I uh, uh, pay for what my great, 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 great grandfathers did? Yeah. Well, according to the scripture, the Lord, he, he says he, uh, he, he requires that which is past. Uh -huh. When you read Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, God. he requires that which is past, man. You know? Hey, some, uh, uh, get Psalms uh, 109 real quick. Psalm, 109 and uh, uh, 14. Psalms chapter 109. Verse 14. Verse 14. Psalms chapter 109 and 14. And it reads, let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> that that's an that's answer to your question. Yeah. Jesse Waters. The Bible just said it. Read that again, bro. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord. Now, what is your what is the father what, what is your father's iniquity? Hmm. Sure. We got the visuals. <laughs> we got the facts of what your fathers did. This this was iniquity. Okay, that's your father's iniquity, which you're still benefit from benefit from to this very day. Okay. And we need to get some uh, some, some stuff for Gad. Yeah, I know, I know. We'll put some posters up for Gad yeah, to the Northern Kingdom. It ain't just with Judah, all the tribes. Yeah, yeah, all the tribes. Everything that you've done to all of us. Yeah, because that, that, we always, when we was here slavery, they always think of uh, Judah. All right, slavery, slavery. The, the, the Northern Kingdoms went to slavery also. It just wasn't as documented as, as the slavery of Judah. And we got the book. Yeah, we got the book. I think I got the book in my bag. I think I got the book in my bag. We did a lesson on that, man. Yeah. We actually went live and did a lesson on it because you know the elder uh, uh, Malcolm in Chicago, uh -huh. he actually uh, brought the information out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did a lesson on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah Took like some of that information and went into it. And you look, Gad suffered the same yeah. slavery that uh, uh, Judah did, man. Yeah. And they were having slave revolts in yep. the central in the Central America, uh, 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 South America. Yep. So they had slave revolts. They were slaves yep. under who? The conquistadors, Edomites, the Portuguese. Yep. Those are Edomites too. Yep. All right, people think Spanish. They think it just uh, 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 the, the Latin tribe. No, them is Edomites. Yep. They just mingle their seed with our people and, and gave us that bastard language, Spanish, or, uh, which a lot of the Northern tribes speak and uh, the Brazilians speak Portuguese. All right, you got the, um, I forgot what country where they where they, they speak uh, Dutch down there also. No, um, I want to say it's, it's by Suriname. Sur yeah. 
somewhere in yeah, South yeah, America. Yeah, South America. They speak Dutch. Okay. That tells you that our people were conquered and 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 gave us, you know, that's in the, that, but that's in the um, that's in the curses that we will be uh, scattered to another land speaking a, a foreign language, foreign I, tongue. I got that secular history yeah. over here. Just talking about this is uh, the other slavery, uh, the uncovered story of the in, uh, so-called Indian. Show the book again. Yeah. This is uh, the book right here. Andres uh, Resendez. And this is just the introduction uh, on page three. It says, uh, the Mormons became buyers and even found a way to rationalize. The Mormons. The Mormons. Edomites. Edomites. Which uh, that devil Glenn Beck, I believe he's a Mormon. All right. And he just recently came out and tried to put something up about the, uh, the demonize the evil Israelites. Well, those morons that, that, uh, that you see riding on those bikes, all right, trying to uh, 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 try to uh, convert you to uh, uh, Mormonism, you know, the Church of the uh, uh, Latter Day uh, Saints, okay, with, with, with the testimony of Joseph Smith, yeah. who was a damn devil. Well, those same devils, they were enslaving uh, Gadites. Yeah. Yeah. But what's funny is the Mormons actually believe that they're the Israelites. <laughs> That's, that's, that's what's crazy. They believe they're the northern kingdom. They believe that the they're part of, of that, the, that the Native Americans are, 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 the, are part of the northern kingdom, but yet they were enslaving them. In the course of trying to see with, uh, with Gad, they right. say that, oh, that, oh, well, I'm, my, my, I'm Native American. No. Yeah, they're trying to blend in with him. Trying to blend in with him. Yeah. And then yeah. yeah. you got this simple ass, defeated ass uh, Native Americans that actually allow it. They marry in with them. They, they, you know, uh, allow their daughters to, uh, to to marry Esau and have children with them. And that's why. That's when you're getting these a lot of these uh, these Edomite looking uh, uh, Native Americans. Yes, a lot of them are tares, man. Time. But then you have that. You have the actual uh, Native Americans, man. Time. You know. Go ahead. Uh. It says uh, Mormons became buyers and even found a way to rationalize their participation in this human market. I'm talking about the selling of the, the Northern Kingdom, yeah. Uh, and going down to the next paragraph, it says uh, Columbus's very first business venture in the New World um, consisted of sending four caravels loaded to capacity with 550 natives back to Europe to be auctioned off in the markets of the Mediterranean. Others followed in the Admiral's lead, the English, the French, the Dutch, the Port yeah. uh, Portuguese. Yeah. These are all, all so-called European nations, which th that was Esau that came and inherited Yep. those lands yep. all right and this was uh after the fall of uh the byzantine empire right? that's how they got the claim of uh those european countries which fulfills Western prophecy European, yeah. of the beast coming back yeah. right A thousand years the beast resurfacing back on on the scene man go ahead huh? portuguese all became important participants in the indian slave trade um it says spain however by virtue of the large and densely populated colonies it ruled became the dominant slave in power Indeed, Spain was to Indian slavery, but Portugal and England were later to African slavery, or uh, so-called Negroes. Yep. Now it says, uh, Indian slavery never went away, but rather coexisted with uh, the northern or the southern kingdom slavery from the 16th all the way through the 19th century. They don't tell you that because they don't, they, Esau's plan is to keep us divided, divide and conquer, keep us apart. It was Native Americans right there, right, right in the slave, uh, in the plantations with uh, you, uh, with, with Judah, with Judah, yeah. yeah. And then some of the slaves in the south, when they would escape their plantation, they would run over to uh, to Gadites, and the Gadites would actually take them in, and they would they would make Jake serve them, but it would be in a, a, a brotherly way, like how the, the scriptures uh, the, the scriptures say. Even in the, in the law, you are allowed to have uh, other Israelites if you was an Israelite serve you. But you couldn't. But it was a certain uh, way you you went about it. You didn't treat them like a second class citizen or or uh, like a heathen. Or, br or brutal. You didn't treat them brutally. You didn't either. shoot them uh, brutally, man. Yep. So that's how when Gad when they try to tell you that oh yeah the, the Native Americans they enslaved uh, 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 blacks too, but some of them you know they were Uncle Toms and they dealt harshly with Jake. But you had uh, uh, ones that they didn't want to document where they was actually welcoming Jakes yep. and Jakes were actually uh, 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 serving them just like how Jacob. Uh, uh, served Laban yeah, for his wives. Right. They was doing the same thing, and then once uh, Jake was a uh, 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 working for him, they would actually give their daughters 
to to uh, to, to Negroes, man. Right, yeah. That's why you got a lot of dark uh, uh, Native Americans around. Niggas right. like Snoop Dogg and them. Yes. Yeah. Let's bring this out right now. Uh, if you if you know that uh, old Negro spiritual swing low C chariot, yeah. All right. Uh, Wallace Willis was a uh, Choctaw freedman living in Indian territory. All right. And you look up Choctaw freedmen. The Choctaw freedmen were enslaved black people who were uh, emancipated after the American Civil War and were granted citizenship in the Choctaw Nation. Yeah. Choctaws, uh, uh, the Gattas. Gattas, yeah. They even showed you in uh, the movie Birth of a Nation, you know, when uh, Nat Turner uh, basically had the little, he had a bunch of things about a campfire and he had a showing that it was it was still peace between the Southern and Northern people. And this is uh, page six, it says, the indigenous peoples of the New World experienced an even more catastrophic decline in the 16th and 17th century. Native populations were reduced by 70, 80 or even 90 percent through a combination of warfare, famine, epidemics, and slavery. They said they were reduced from 80 to 90 percent. Yeah. So there's 100 million Gadites. Imagine 90 to 90 to uh, 85 million people dying. Yeah. That dwindles your your weak ass so-called Holocaust numbers. Yeah. All right, and that's just one tribe. They we know. ain't talking about the other 11. Ephraim, right? So Kind. Yeah. Kind and you had um, what you did to the uh, the Taínos in uh, Espanol, Arawak, yeah. Kind, you had a uh, demon, a Edomite by the name of uh, Cody Buffalo Bill, you know, yeah. and he was uh, basically uh, they say the U.S. didn't sanction what they were doing, but the U.S. supported what they were doing because what they were doing, they were going around and just uh, and scalping the the natives, man, yeah. and bringing them back for for money. He killed the buffalo, Kine. knowing the uh, natives that was their main source of uh, of food. It was probably. Shit, oh, over a, mil so, so, a million God. buffaloes in Northern America and they alone. Were, and they were killing uh, four, four to 5,000 or more every month, you know? Yeah. And they was doing this month after month after month. And they were getting money, and it's like, they were getting money for killing those buffalo. And God. they weren't doing nothing with the meat. They were just killing them. God, they, was, God, they wasn't doing nothing with the fur either. You know, they was just killing them for sport. Because our people seen, our people had the buffalo as a main source of uh, not only materials, but meat. I was going to say, it was a source of life kind. to the Native Americans. Kind. We used it for um everything. for everything. Yeah, everything. Food, to build the, uh, the the skins for teepees and clothing, yeah. uh, the bones for, for weapons and, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. you know, all types of stuff. Kind. Every yeah. every inch of that animal was used, you know, and, and it and, was a sacred thing. And they weren't killing them off. They would, okay, they would, we need to kill two for this season. Yep. Okay, we, we, but they would let the animals do what they do. They multiply. Kind of. So they would have more exactly. when, the, when, the, when the season was up, when they needed more. And they were, they they were killing the older ones. Yeah. They were killing the older buffalo kind that was yeah, getting kind of, to die. Yeah. As well as, I want to say also, um, you got to imagine to these Edomites, it was easier to kill the buffalo than to kill the oh, Native Americans yeah. themselves. Because, yeah. you know, they was on you with them arrows, man. You know, they wasn't just laying down. Fucking Esau up. Yep. Yeah. I got a quick prayer. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Mm. Okay? And all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. God, and mm -hmm. that cuts you, um, you all, uh, you Negro. You all Negro is the 12 tribes, niggas, man. Yep. They said we're oppressed together. Israel was the northern kingdom yeah. of the, the Hispanic and native uh, tribes, yeah. and then the southern kingdom was the, 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 the dark uh, Negro tribes, uh, uh, Negro, West Indian, and Haitian tribes. And Israelites so that's saying what? That, we, that both, uh, both kingdoms would, would, would be oppressed, I meaning they would, they would uh, serve under the same common oppressor. That's right. In, the, in, in that same land. Mm -hmm. Babylon. And another, yep. another thing, the brother in um, Hawaii, uh, Gabor Yahweh brought this out, that um, so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Ephraim, they were shipped over to Hawaii. I forgot when, but they were like damn near like slaves over there in Hawaii. So Israel scattered throughout the four winds of the world. Hey, All right, Con, I was just about to say that because uh, that's that's Bruno Bruno Mars is of uh, Ephraim. Yeah, he's from the tribe of Ephraim, uh, yeah. so-called Puerto Rican. Yeah, but I believe he was born in Hawaii. He was born in Hawaii. So they try to claim him as as his, but he's really one of us, man. Yep. You know. Yeah, the Rock. The Rock. Yep. I think his dad's a Judah. Yeah, his dad looked like a Judah. Yeah, yeah. Quick, quick. It's Deuteronomy 28 
28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there there shall serve other gods, neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Yeah, fast forward into the New Testament, when you get the whole Gentile thing, that, that's, that's a curse, man. All right? Yeah, we, uh, uh, our people uh, followed other, uh, other gods, you know, not knowing our true heritage, all right? That's how you get into the Gentile, man, the Gentile state of mind in the New Testament, yep. all right? There's a natural set of Gentiles, which are the other nations, and the Gentiles that spoke about in the New Testament are Israelites that lost their heritage, man, lost their, uh, their Israelite customs, man. All right? And, that, and that's common, because if you've been uh, uh, conquered as a, as a people and brought away from your heritage, the person that uh, 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 took you captive and conquered you and colonized you, they're going to impose their uh, philosophy and their gods upon you. Okay. That's what happened during the uh, Hellenism of, of, of Israel. They forced Hellenism down onto us. They, they, if, you, if you didn't uh, worship as a Greek, you, you, you got put to death. Yep. Right. So, of course, when, when Esau came over here with his plantation Christianity, he did the same thing. He pushed it in, 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 in the, uh, the, the, the Latin tribe's face. Yep. And when he brought the Negroes over here, he did the same thing to the Negroes. Okay. So now we over here in America worshiping uh, 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 Chesre Borgia. All right. You got another a good number of them uh, worshiping uh, 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 a cobblestone, Islam. And that's the fulfillment of that uh, curse. Okay. Yep. Our people are scattered around the earth worshiping, all, worshiping this all this bullshit, man. Ellis Eli Selassie, yeah. Egyptology, yeah. Buddha, like that. That's that nigga, um, uh, Russell Simmons. Yeah. That's Jake, worshiping Buddha, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and. Oh, Baphomet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. All our people into all of this shit, man. Yeah, they into all the madness, man. And like going back to that history, I'm gonna read it too. The, the fact that. They was able to uh, enslave uh, those, those uh, natives, those Gadites. You don't think that they imposed Mormonism on those Gadites? Huh? Uh, Just like we got it, uh, they gave us Christianity. You got tribes that's believing in that damn Mormonism bullshit. You know, and Jake do it because they're defeated. Gone. You know, all they see is Esau at the top. So whatever he's pushing, they, that's, they, that's what they're gonna run with. You know? That's, that's Esau putting the bottle onto his neighbor and making him drunk. We're going around basically transgressing by one. Okay, okay. The spreading of his uh, democracy and his religion and his uh, false philosophy. He did, he did that to every every tribe on his side when he enslaved them. You know? That's why you got Catholicism heavy in uh, Haiti, in parts of uh, South America, because the French, that, the, 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 all those Europeans, they, they were Catholic. Yeah. So okay. Like, well, what movie? Was that Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee? Is that the name of that movie? When they got re-educated? Yeah. When they, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. yeah they, 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 they took all their customs, all their, uh, 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 their heritage away from them and gave them and told them they were these people and this were their customs and, and lived this way. Yeah. So after generation after generation, they thinking their generation started with what, what the so-called white man gave yep. Yep. And a lot of, just real, so like, real quick, and a lot of them um, fought, fought against it. In the movie, they even showed there were still uh, so-called rebel uh, uh, Native Americans or Gadites that were fighting against that, that re-education that was happening. Yeah. But there are a lot of them, like I said, the Maccabee, but a lot of them consented unto what this white man was doing. Consented unto his religion. Yep. Yep. They basically sold out, you know? Yep. Just like the time of um, the Maccabees. Yep. Let us go make a... Um, Covenant. A covenant with the heathen. Yeah. There's always some sellout niggas like, you know, they're gonna kill us, so, you know, let's just, just might as well just, you know, get along. Can't beat them, join them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't beat them, join them. This is, uh, I got, this is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Yeah. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger. We shall burn forever. The only land that we're supposed to know was the land of Israel. Yep. But, but we came over here because uh, we couldn't keep the customs. Talking about the northern kingdom, we couldn't keep the customs over there in our land of Israel. 
So after uh, the Assyrian captivity, we sailed on the ships and came over here to try to do it. We couldn't do it well over here either. We start, we start worshiping um, the same shit that we was worshiping over there in Egypt. Nope, the, nope. The, 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 the gods, yep. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the sun, the sun. The Hermetic gods. Yeah, the Hermetic gods. That's why, you know, when they talk about pyramids in uh, South America, it's pyramids not just in Mexico, it's pyramids in Belize, Colombia, Peru. It's, pyramid, Peru, it's pyramids all throughout the northern, uh, uh, like it, uh, Central and South America. All right, so our people, you know, they, they basically just went back and, and began to worship the gods which they knew in the um, in Egypt. Building those pyramids to the sky, like, you know, like the Tower of Babel and stuff like that. All those things, that, all those pyramids are down there. But all you hear about is the ones in Mexico. Because then the Mexican one in Mexico is big, biggest, almost big as the one in Egypt. And that's why the Lord allowed for Esau to come against uh, the northern kingdom and, and yep. rape, rob, and, and slaughter him. Yep. And, and enslave him. Okay. You know? I'm going to read some more of this book. If you want to. Uh, you read the part was African slaves, which consist primarily of adult males, the majority of Indian slaves were actually women and children because kind of, they would kill off the men yeah, you know because yeah, yeah. they they seen the men as a threat you know and also when we was talking about the the buffalo and things like that you know it shows that our people still didn't have a heavy meat diet because even when you in school you talked about what you talk about hunters and then you talk about uh the gatherers right yeah. which shows you that it was still balanced because even in uh especially in that book it talks about the the physical um physique of our people how nobody was fat how everybody was healthy you know how when they when uh when Esau came over here, the diets that he, uh, he examined from our people, it was a balance. You know, uh, the three sisters, they have to show kind of corn squash and uh, beans. How everything would grow together, everything was in unity and in peace. You know, but as soon as he came over here, diseases spread. You know, and, and chaos started to be a uh, start to be a huge problem because he was killing off our people. Yep. Yep. Hey, because and he knows to. Uh, Go after the males because Gun. Gad, you know, which which really all the tribes, but predominantly, you know, Gad, they teach their children early. Gun. Yeah. They teach their children uh, how to war. They teach their children how to uh, become handy. Yep. They teach their children how to uh, 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 how to plant, how to plant, plant how to till. Yeah. They also teach them uh, 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 the act of war, Gun. how to how to war, Gun. and to also understand who their enemies are. How to hunt. So to how to hunt. Place. So so. <laughs> If Esau didn't, uh, um, if, if he spared the, the, the sons, then he would have allowed for these these uh, these natives to grow up, understanding what happened to their fathers, kind, bro. Kind. and would have vengeance and, may, and wage war against yeah, these yeah. devils. Kind. It was a, a show on Spike TV. I don't think they showed it anymore, but it was called uh, Deadliest Warrior. Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, in that show, I did a video on it, but every time I uploaded, Esau bitch ass took it down. But uh, it was a group of uh, Gadites called the Comanches. Yep. You know, with the Comanches, uh, the man that was uh, from the actual tribe, he said that he got his first ball, I believe, at like two or three. And he was learning to shoot at that age, you know? And it showed you how, how fierce of a warrior, uh, how fierce of warrior uh, Gad was, man. You know, it showed him uh, on horseback and how deadly they were on, on, in combat with uh, with that animal. They could shoot a bow and arrow or throw a spear from a horse. Kind, bro. And be accurate. And they was kind, well, you know? I, I got a script. So Rock 30 and 3. He that teach of his son grieve with the enemy, yep. and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he have left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies, and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. So that's why when you make when you go and wage war with your uh, with your enemies, you got to kill off the, the sons, man. Right. Yeah. And that's what they did to the Native Americans, the tribe of Gad. They killed off the men, so that the, the, even if they had seed that was left over, they wouldn't know nothing about them. Yep. They wouldn't have vengeance for, uh, for for them because of them killing off their father. They, they, that's, but that goes back to Jeremiah the 17th chapter, saying we lost our heritage. That's how we lost our heritage. Right. A part of it. That's a way, a, a way we did lose our heritage. Kind of, and that, uh, that show Swamp Wars, I believe it's on uh, Animal Planet. It's on one of those uh, shows, Discovery Channel or something like that. But it's um, it's a Gadai man. Um, it's a Gadai man down south. We're from here. We live here. 
Kind of, and it was a Gadai man down south. And basically, he was, he was, uh, it was, he had like a little documentary part in the show and stated how, um, how he was part of the boarding schools and how basically they, uh, he was separated from his family, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey. Uh, Gad, their mistake was not understanding uh, 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 their enemies, man. They, Esau came over here and, and Esau tried to play as if, you know, he's lost and he doesn't know where land Darn. he's at. You know, he needs help. He, he, he needs to uh, find his way. He's looking for this land or that land. But they knew exactly where the fuck he was, bro. man. Okay, or or else they wouldn't have came with Hebrew interpreters. Yeah. They knew who the, they know that the the, uh, the the northern kingdom was over here in, in uh, the land of Arsenal, man. I got I got a preview. So so therefore, uh, 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 Gad, they basically didn't follow uh, what the scriptures say. So Rock right, twelve and ten, never trust thine yeah. enemy. Yeah. When Esau came in that crouching spirit, yeah. and he and he and he, and he showed himself. Kind. You know. And now you guys don't have a you don't have a land. You just got reservations now. You know, trusting in your, your enemy, man. And those reservations are the shittiest part of the land. Exactly. Only part that Esau makes good on the land is the land that they could build casinos. Yep. And you don't even benefit from that. Yep. This is uh oh, get that in uh, Psalms. Yeah, oh, I yeah. got I got that in the Psalm Psalm 28. Yeah, 28 and 3. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. That's right. They spoke. They, that's the same thing they did to the Native American Indians. They did to, um, well, yeah, they did to Native American Indians. They spoke peace. We come in peace. Um, you know, show us how to uh, uh, till the land. Show us how to grow crops. All right, and, and but read the rest of it. But what was in their heart? Uh, mischief. But mischief was in their heart. How can we? When they came, when they, when those first settlers came over here and saw how. The, the, the tribes were living, it was like paradise. Right. They had a, 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 what is it called, aqueducts, where they filtered the water. It was like a, a they, they was thinking, how can we fuck these people over and take, take this, over? Take this land, take this colonize land. this land, yeah. and, 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 and stay claim to the resources that are in that land. Yep. Esau's doing this, like, right now, as we speak. Yeah. This, this is what he always, the gold rush. Yeah. Hey, down there in uh, Puerto Rico, that's why he called it. He called it his rich port because it was full of uh, uh, riches. Uh, riches. All that gold, all that gold, silver, okay. silver. You know, all the natural resources that come from the earth. And you need that in the water, kind to filter the yeah. water, man. Kind. Now this devil took took the whole uh, all the uh, the, uh, the metals out the water, and you got you got all kinds of bacteria and diseases in the water. You, you need it in the soil as well. Yeah, because think all that, that that rich nutrients in the soil also uh, um, uh, is, is, uh, some of the the, the, the nutrients go into the the, the the herbs and plants that you grow. And now you're ingesting it, which helps keep your body so like keep help keep your body clean. Yeah, because uh, silver kills over uh, thousands of uh, bacteria. Okay. Yeah, yeah, body, also man. pure, but they gotta Gold be pure. Yep. Yep. That's why you get um, colloidal silver and gold. I got a um, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12 and uh, 10. Never no, trust. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a little more. A little okay, more. Kind of. Verse 4 says, it's back in Psalms 28 4. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness yeah. of their endeavors. Yeah, give them. And Esau is going to receive that. He are going to give them according to their deeds. What does Esau push? Hate, wickedness, rape, rob, and murder. All right, with well, a uh, script saying um, John 10 and 10, the thief comes not but to steal, steal kill. kill, and destroy. Right. So he's going to get the same thing that he put forth. All right, it's not saying, you know, that's what he put forth. He, that the Bible says that's what he's going to get. And that's the part that you news media will, will edit down yeah. and don't want to show that part. That your hand is bloody and dirty already, man. You, you've done your part, and there is a, 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 a payback or a recompense for, for the things you've done. But we're not gonna physically do it. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai's gonna? But what they say? At least that what, we know what they're gonna say, right? What about love? Um, well, I thought God is all love. Okay, you know, you guys push, hey, I thought God is, you know, just you, all love and, you know, and. Yo, no. You're not qualified to even use the term. You're not qualified. 
Don't ever speak that term. Don't ever speak that word, man. You as a nation of people, y'all been disqualified a long time ago to use that term, love. You're not a loving people, nor neither do you show love to people, man. All right, everything about you is about hatred, okay? It plays out in your actions. Look at the look at the condition of the whole entire planet under your management. Would a loving people have done that to the planet? Mm. Ask yourself that, man. You got giraffes uh, ending up on the uh, endangered, endangered species, species list. Time, bees, bro. you know, whales uh, beaching themselves. Yep. Shark. There's multiple whales that beach themselves. I believe down near New Zealand somewhere. God. Like like on both sides of the island. Yeah. It's, man, shit's going on in the world right now. Australia has had some of the hottest summer they having right now. You got bats falling out the trees. Man. You got a, a, a polar vortex that's about to hit the, uh, Midwest. the Midwest. Prophecy is happening. Esau's, Esau knows it's his it's, 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 it's end. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 51 to 25. Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord which destroyeth all the earth. Oof. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. Yeah, that's, and that's talking about Babylon. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the Lord's gonna, gonna destroy it. Cause you are the destroyer of, of the earth. You Edomites, man, your, your American government, you use that. As, as, look, look, look. <laughs> Almost out of bottom there, man. <laughs> Damn. But uh, uh, Babylon, you, you have been a destroying mountain on the earth. There's a report that every well, uh, every uh, 11 or 12 minutes, there's a there's a bomb being dropped by the, by the U.S. Uh, 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 military. You know, you're 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 going around destroying the ecosystem. All right, and and and, and top it off, you're creating technology that's leading to the further of of the destruction of the earth. Hey, I gotta Your say. 5G technology, yeah. you know how many people is going to drop dead because you're trying to uh, uh, set up that technology on the earth? Radiation. That radiation, radiation. which is going to cause nothing but cancer everywhere. Kill off the animals. Kill, Kill off the, 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 the birds in the sky, man. Yeah. You know, you're a destructive devil, man. Who type of loving man would, would, would do such a thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's the love in that, man? What kind of loving man would put poison in your food? Well, hey, why don't you, why don't Fox News and CNN and all these uh, mainstream uh, uh, media uh, news sites. When when are y'all gonna protest Monsanto? Kind. Right. All right. When you when you gonna protest uh uh uh, uh what's the, the Bilderberg Group? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nambla. Nambla. Yeah. The Catholic Church. All these different organizations. These different uh, 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 corporate entities mm -hmm. that's contributing to uh, the pollution of 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 of, uh, of this, the um, the atmosphere, your food, okay, your your ability the ability for your children to develop normally. A lot of foods that our women are, are consuming is 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 messing with uh, the, the the neurological uh, development of, of their children. Uh, monosodium glutamate. Why is that still in food? How's there still monosodium glutamate? Ain't that a cleaning uh, product? Uh, 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 Agent or something like that, man. Yeah. It's terrible. It's something they put in, like, uh, like you know, like Ajax or some shit like that, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I know so. Yeah, man. It, 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 you even got in all the different um, cereals, the children's cere 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 yeah. cereals, they got this chemical called uh, tri uh, 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 tri uh, uh, phosphate. Uh, yeah, that's Gly no glyphosate, glyphosate right. which is uh, known as a um, uh, it's a pesticide yeah. that's known for uh, 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 being a weed killer. Yeah, yeah. They find traces of that in your children's cereal. Kind of with from, that in cinnamon toast crunch, man. Right? From yeah. round up. Isn't that hateful? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. You try to eat right. You try to go vegan, <laughs> right? And right. I, and, <laughs> and a girl I know, she uh, she vegan, and she told me uh, the specific vegan cheese that I got. Uh, ingredient in it caused cancer, man. Yes. Now, I can't. Now, I can't buy uh, vegan shredded cheese no more, man. You know. Wow. This, this fucking man is, is crazy, man. And, you know. And he, it's not just what he's talked about doing. He's done these things. Kind. This it ain't just speech of him thinking about doing it or saying that he it was gonna be done. He's done these things. 
And if he's, and, and, it, and it's a known fact that he's doing these things, knowing that he's doing these things, why are we being questioned? Gun. Why are the black, why are the black Hebrew Israelites, why are they on trial right now? Why are they being uh, interrogated? Why are they being uh, 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 ostracized, man? You know, why is the smear campaign against us? But we're we're telling you the, the direct actions of the so-called white man. This is why. And you wonder yeah. why we're out here calling you out. You this wonder why uh, those uh, uh, HOI was out there cussing out them them, them Catholic devils. Right. Okay. I got some. Yep. Uh, Romans chapter uh, thirteen, verse ten: Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilled of the law. Mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. So-called white men done nothing but ill will <laughs> towards the so-called Native Americans, Negroes, and, um, and uh, Latinos. Nothing but ill towards them throughout this whole history, even back in the ancient world, when they was uh, pointing the finger, uh, telling on us to the Philistines. You know, the Babylonians. The Babylonians so like, yeah. All right. N nothing but ill, but. That's, that we're supposed to show love. We're supposed to love our neighbor. We're having to love our neighbor. And you, you Edomites aren't our neighbors. Even two thirds of our own people aren't our neighbors right now. All right? Only ones that's our neighbors is the hopeful elect, the men that's doing this work, man. All right, so you, but, but now I can go, I'm gonna go to this in Amos, because what about, um? because Esau broke the, bro, the brotherly covenant. You want us to love everybody like yeah, yeah, yeah. the image of Jesus loves everybody, but but he don't show no love. This is Amos chapter 1 and 9. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Tyrus and for four, I will turn away the punishment thereof because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom and remember not the brotherly covenant. I will send... And, and remember not the brotherly I just yeah. pretty much read it yep. in the book of Romans. That's pretty much, that's it in a nutshell right there. Yep. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the places thereof. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they, they did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and, and, and his anger did tear perpetually, and kept his wrath forever. Read about that in the book of uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Already. Yep. Perpetual hatred. Yep. Yep. And, 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 that, and that hatred was perpetuated throughout generation. Every, uh -huh. Each generation, that, that, that hatred plays out. You know? It plays out every every time. And through Esau, uh, uh, it, it, basically his descendants, they get the same yeah. feel that he, that he get. Yeah. That's why every once in a while you'll see a heavy persecution of Israelites were at least like like uh, uh, the, the past year the trend was call the police yeah. on every nigga that you see just mm -hmm. doing anything minding his business call the police on doing anything that you don't like or anything that you feel is yes. uh, is not right call, call the police yeah. you told the little girl uh, you got a permit for selling uh, waters or lemonade something yeah really say this about the call the police even the leader might himself said the, uh, you only call the police when death is the appropriate oh, yeah. response yeah. because anytime that Negro Latinos and Native Americans are uh, in, in any um, a situation with a, with, a, with a police officer it's a very it's, it's a very uh, uh, realistic chance that death can come in that situation give it to you God. This is uh, Psalm 55 and 20. He he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. Yep. Yep. You know? Hey, Jacob was was at peace with Esau. Uh, uh, yep. If you remember that when they came when they came again, when he yep. seen him again he fell and he fell on his neck and kissed him. Yeah. Yep. You know, but what yep. happened after? Yep. His descendants. They, every time they were waging war against Jacob, man. Every time. And what it was, just me, you know. That's why you can't really believe Esau when he tried to show you love. Right. That kiss on the neck, that's that Judas Iscariot kiss, man. Yeah. Yeah. God. <laughs> He's that's this is the spirit of Cain we talking here. 
Okay. Yeah. Now, then that's the clearly the bro brotherly covenant in his spirit that, that he would that he would continually break. You got something yep. to see? Okay. Isaiah chapter 24, 24 verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth, the earth is also is defiled under inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, and, and, and who was the earth given into the hands of? Who's 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 ruling? All right. Who's ruling? Who's in control of these uh, these banks? All right. Who's in control of the uh, the IMF, the Federal Reserve? Who's in control of uh, these these uh, the, the the land resources here in Babylon? All right. Who's in control? Okay. Who's uh, who's going around trying to dictate policies over other nations? Who's over in Venezuela right now trying to? Uh, 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 topple the, 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 the current Venezuelan government so that they can raise up a puppet leader yeah. so they can uh, uh, usurp their imperialism yeah. on Venezuela. So they can get their hands on what? On that, uh, the, the oil down there. That's why Maduro putting tanks at the border, man. Yeah. Con. Man, you about to just lay down, lay down for this. Because as soon as we, we turn our back to fight against this puppet leader, here come you and your tanks coming. Yeah. Yeah. We already know you coming. So America does. Yeah. And I bet none of that, when the shit go down on there, it, it's not going to make the the big headline news. Because they don't want, Esau don't want you to know what's going on down there. They don't want to know that they got American troops down there trying to set shit in order uh, for their interests. Yeah. Right, let me get, um, this is Daniel 8 and uh, verse 25. And through his policies, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. Yeah, that's why hey, they're trying to have this little UN meeting, uh, uh, the little uh, uh, UN meeting, to try to come to a, a peaceable agreement on, on the on the government uh, in Venezuela right now. But really, Esau he already has it in his mind. The, the U.S. government. They already, have it, they already have it in their mind that they're gonna. A, 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 a military intervention, yeah. and this and this is something that they've been known to do. Okay, they did it in the past, man. How you think uh, they have a monopoly on the markets, or in, in those uh, the, the the Central American countries, and why those different Central American countries are actually backing uh, the U.S. opposition of, of the change of government? Yeah. Because the, the the U.S. has power over them. They they know that Esau is capable of sending. A uh, 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 military down there to to, to basically uh, take them out, man. Okay, all you gotta do is just look up the history uh, about the Banana Wars, the, uh, the Panama uh, Deception. Okay, if Esau sees something that can make him rich, and, it, and he could get a monopoly on it, he's gonna go for it. And if there's people in the way, he's gonna go and get it violently, man. Get down, uh, lay down. He's gonna slaughter any just like Christopher uh, Columbus, Christopher Colon. If he sees natural resources there and he wants that land, whoever's there, he's he, you, you out. He's gonna take you out, man. All right, and that, and, that, and that's the reason why Maduro he know, he knows. That's why he's putting the, the basically the Venezuelan uh, uh, military is back in Maduro, man. All right, they're back in, and, and and then you of course you got the Russian. Chinese alliance also yeah. that's back in Maduro. Yeah, Russia, so China, that's why Turkey. that's why they're having this uh this meeting right now. Cause this is getting pretty thick. These nations are divided over this decision down there. You know? But that's the, the but that's the the, the the dissension that Esau is causing right now. That lets you know that he's uh he he's he, he's a he's a wicked uh, violent man. Who was that Micah two and uh two? Mm -hmm. They cover fields, yep. they take them by violence, they oppress a man, even his house and his heritage. That's that's what come on man, that's that's Esau's that's his whole forte. I got something going. Okay? That's his whole forte, man. 
Okay. This is a Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Yeah, this and this is a bloody city. It sheds so many uh, uh, so much blood, man. And we went into the history of it, starting with the, uh, the Native Americans, and then of course the, the so-called Negro. Alright? So much blood has been shed, and even to this day, it still continues to be shed. All right. I'm gonna jump down to four. Hey, hold on. Make America great again. So, ask, answer this question. How America was established and founded, was that great? Yeah. Is that love? Was that great? At what point in time yeah, was this place ever great for the people that was already over here? Was that, was that love or was that hate? Right. Was it established and founded with love? Or hatred. So if you're saying make America great again, what are you really saying here? What do they have that 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 uh, that that, uh, that, uh, that lullaby with the, the little kid song in elementary school? This land is your land. This land is my. This land was made for you and me. No, it was made wasn't made for you. You took it. You said that and created that song after you took it from me. Kind. Yep. No. And for any of you people that try to say, Esau likes to say, well, that was a long time ago. Those, these same people on this sign are still suffering the effects of what happened a long time ago. And they're going to continue to suffer those effects until the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, delivers, us, uh, delivers us up out of here, man. It was still, and, and this place was built on, that's why you Edomites are in the position you were in, because of that rape, robbery, and murder. It's not just because, okay, now, are we all one people now and yeah. no put you back yeah yeah no it's, no. It, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work like that and Esau know it ain't gonna work like that because they ain't gonna give him in fact the scriptures say the kingdom has to be taken by force it's, it's it's Esau ain't gonna give uh ain't gonna just give it over no, oh. hell no this is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith. Yet also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. Who yeah, enlar right there. He is a proud man, never keep it at home. Just like the Roman Empire, he scattered everywhere in the world trying to conquer everything at once. That's why. And that's going to be his downfall. <laughs> that was his downfall. Uh -huh. Well, uh, some of you said, somebody start at the top of the hill. Hey, hold on. on. So lucky. <laughs> They said this. They said this, the same thing about uh, uh, well, Rome. They said the same thing about the, the British Empire. The, they had the saying, um, "The land where the sun never, uh, the sun, never, uh, the sun uh, never uh, sets, 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 sets on the because as long as the, the territory is uh, being expanded, the sun it never goes away. The light doesn't stop shining on that land. On, on the land that they that right? they uh, uh, conquered. That they conquered, man. Same thing with uh, uh, the U.S. Okay. Same thing with the U.S. That's how you know that this is the uh, the um, the resurfacing of the of the Roman Empire, man. So Esau he wants to colonize and conquer everything. Gone. He wants to make everything one for himself. That's what the gathering of the people is about, man. All right, he wants a one world government, not different sovereign governments. He wants one government. Him being at the top rule of that government. So he has total control, like he the most high. Yeah. Start at the top again with that. Verse four. Yeah, where you start at, Behold, his soul which is lifted up, it's not upright in him. You can't expect him to be a, a, a good...